Hello, villagers, and welcome back to Collector's Hollow. Now, I'm going to go away from Harry Potter. I still have the background, so I still hope you enjoy. But I wanted to move on to something else that I collect, and that is Disney pins. I love being a pin collector. I actually have a pin board that one day I will be showing you. But Disney is just a magical place, and I actually went to Disney World for the first time almost now two years ago. I need to go back. That's what we're getting at here. Anyways, at Disney, they have this awesome thing called pin trading. And what it basically is, is you are able to go up to cast members or employees um, at Disney and trade pins. There's also hidden pin boards throughout the parks. So it's a super fun adventure trying to find pins, seeing what pins work best, and seeing which ones you like. Sometimes when you buy pins from eBay, you get pins called scrapper pins. So usually they're pins that have a small flaw or a coloration problem. The nice thing about Disney is they are going to trade as long as it's a Disney character or Disney recognized, they're going to trade it with you. Now, the one thing about pin trading I will say is being respectful is key. Now, let's jump right on in. First, I want to put on my special uh, Mickey Mouse ears. This is actually was given to me by Just A Dream Away Ears. They do an amazing job, really well quality, a lot of very fun designs. This one is Captain America. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my ears on. Very nice, very well fitting, great for the park. So yeah, in front of me, I have bags of pins that I've already collected. So I'm gonna be sharing about 25 to 30 with you each of these videos. And any of my duplicates, I will probably be giving out to some of you. So make sure to stay tuned, because if I get a duplicate, I don't really need it, unless I'm gonna be trading. So I might keep a few, but let's jump on in. First up, right here. Uh, we have an Anna and Elsa pin. It's a nice snowflake pin. I love this pin. This was actually given to me by a friend. She also loves Disney. Very fun pin that is great for my kids. I also like it and it goes on my pin board. So Anna and Elsa, wonderful pin. I love the shininess and sparkle. Now, for those of you who might be a little bit older, if you went to Disney, I did not know they did this. I actually heard about it from my mother-in-law. So um, Disney actually used to have these tickets and these are pins. These are C rides and these are D rides. So it's a pin that shows the C ride and D rides. You had a ticket for one of those rides. So you have this little ticket book, which I think is really cool. So little uh, pins that have C and D with the different rides. Let's go with this one. This is uh, Figaro. It is the cat from Pinocchio, as well as something that I didn't know. Figaro is actually the cat of Minnie Mouse. So Minnie Mouse also has a cat that looks similar named Figaro. This cat uh, is actually a cat. It's from a cat set of summer uh, 2015. So really fun. I was excited when I got this in one of my packs that I purchased from eBay. Next, we have this fun, goofy mug. Really fun, really basic mug shape. It is scratched up a little bit right there. I'm wondering if maybe it is one of the scrappers. I just thought it was great. I think Goofy is a great character. Next, we have the Aurora Teacup Collection. So there is multiple princesses in this teacup collection. Each of them look a little bit different, but they are pretty similar in this teacup collection. So hopefully we can collect those together. Oh. If you love emojis, uh, Disney loves emojis just as much as I do. So we have Laughing Elsa. Very fun pin, very simple looking, easy going of Elsa laughing. All right, next we have here, it looks like it's Minnie with heart eyes. Again, another emoji pin, which is very fun. Let's go here. So this is zero. If you love Nightmare Before Christmas, one of the best way uh, to get this mix of pins is going and buying big huge lots from eBay. Usually they run anywhere from $25 to $50. You get a ton of pins for that price. It is amazing. It's a great way to start your collection and start collecting. This was a zero one that I got from the Nightmare Before Christmas. This was actually, um, Disney does a Nightmare Eve, and this was from 2014. They This is an exclusive pin that they gave out for the Nightmare event that they had. So. Very fun. Next we have this cute little mini one. It's very shiny. I like how it's a little bit raised and rounded. Very fun mini pin. Then we have this clown one. I am not too fond of clowns. So um, this one does not excite me. I will probably just be putting this uh, aside to tree at some point because clowns are really creepy. But a clown pin! We also have this rock climber pin. I love Disney. Again, they're very creative with their pins. How you know it's a Disney pin? There's a few things to look for. 
They have pin backs, so the pin back will be a Mickey ear, as well as it will say Walt Disney World official trading pin. So that's how you can know if you're getting an actual Disney pin. Like I said though, even with the ones that are um, scrapper pins or pins that have some flaws, they're still willing to trade with you at the park as long as you have that Mickey back. All right, if you love Aladdin, we got the genie pin. Very fun, look at that. That is actually a Tsum Tsum or is a Sum Sum. I think it's a Tsum Tsum. I don't remember for sure, but we're just gonna go with Tsum Tsum. They have an entire Tsum Tsum collection and Tsum Tsums are one of my favorite, so I'm going to be definitely collecting that one. Ooh, I love this one. This is an R2-D2 snowflake pin. Very fun snowflake collection. Uh, Disney actually, I know they have other ones. I have seen a few other snowflake ones. <gasps> okay, this is one of my favorite collection that they've come out with, mostly because I love the caramel apples at Disney. They have character apple, uh, caramel apple or candied apple pins. This one is a Maleficent pin. Again, with the candy apples, they have multiple characters, so hopefully we collect more of those because I love them. We also have the stylized Cinderella pin. Very fun. I love the adaptations that they make to these characters to make them into pins. Very simple, easy going. Oh, if you are in love of Mandalorian or Boba Fett, we got a Mando pin. Well, a bounty hunter pin. We'll go with a bounty hunter pin. Next up, I actually didn't know the background of this pin. It is Mickey with his hands in a heart. Here, I'll do it too. So Mickey has his hands in a heart. This was actually from an event called Kiss Me Goodnight. It was uh, in memorial to the Pulse uh, attack that happened at that Pulse nightclub a while back. So I thought that was really cool that they did a pin commemorative for that event and in support of those who lost their lives. So very cool pin to collect. A lot of collectors actually out there love this pin for that reason. Next we have an Aztec guy. It's an Aztec Tsum Tsum. Again, it's going to go with the Aladdin Genie Tsum Tsum. We also have a Stitch Tsum Tsum. I don't know if you knew this, but I collect the Tsum Tsums because they're awesome. Okay, the Tsum Tsum. Let's go to, this is the Popper Penguin Tsum Tsum. I think it's called Popper Penguin. I believe it's Popper Penguin. Anyways, it's a penguin Tsum Tsum. Very fun simple penguin oh this one i actually when i saw this one in disney i had traded for it it is a mickey mouse with like a uh, like varsity jacket really snazzy outfit and i was like i kind of like that you are allowed to trade two pins per character or per board basically you hold the pin that you want to trade in your hand you point out sometimes they're mystery pins so you have to like point out what mystery one you want and then you trade so some of the boards you can see some of them you can't Next up we have just another basic Mickey Mouse pin. This one is not my favorite, but I again, when I go to the park again, I can treat it. Or if I get duplicates, I can always give it to one of you. This next pin is actually called a chaser pin. These are pins that did not get the coloring. So basically they are a product uh, to look at, make sure that they are going to be molded and everything correctly. So they did not color them with the enamel. So I thought this was a really cool pin. It is Mickey Mouse. I hope to collect the version that is colored because that's cool to have that set. Next up, I do not know. This is, it says Materhawk on this one. So I'm guessing maybe Cars, since we have Toe Mater on there. I think it's from that. I have never seen this pin, but it's a really cool badge. So really fun pin. We have feet. So this is a collection that they did. It is a foot pin. It has different characters' feet imprinted on the pin, which I think is really cool. One of the nice thing about Disney pins as well is they have hidden Mickeys on them. As you see on this footprint in the right corner, there's a little tiny Mickey face. And throughout these pins and throughout Disney World and Disneyland, they have Mickeys hidden throughout. So it's always fun to kind of scavenger, try to find where all these Mickeys are. Ooh, this one looks kind of evil, kind of sketchy. It looks like a skull, but Mickey. This is another series that they came out. It's more of that like scary uh, October time frame pins that they come out with. So it is a skull, as you see, in the shape of Mickey Mouse. So where could you go wrong? And last but not least for this pack uh, today, I'm gonna share with you, it is Tinkerbell. It is a Tinkerbell Tsum Tsum, which is gonna go with all my other Tsum Tsums. If you don't know what Tsum Tsums are, it's basically these characters, they stack up, you try to keep them stacked, you don't want them to fall. Long story short, super fun, you should look it up. Anyways, 
I am not just about Harry Potter, but don't worry, I will be back uh, with more Harry Potter content throughout the weeks, throughout the month. Stay tuned, I hope you enjoy pin collecting as much as I do, and guess what, next week I'm going to have another pin video for you, so be ready, and we'll see you later. Again, it takes a village. Bye!